again everyone. I'm just here for a quick unboxing from Jackson's Art Supply in the UK. This is another shipment that has been uh, stuck in shipping for quite some time. Actually the one before this was stuck for many months and this was probably you know maybe a month and a half. So it's been a long time and I can't even really remember entirely what I ordered. So it'll be kind of a surprise for both you and me. And I did kind of want to show you their packaging as well because they're really good. I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but but they're really good about um, using recycled and recyclable materials. Oh, so oh yes, that's right. So there was a big schminka sale. So that's why I got some of these. I'm gonna put these aside and then I'll bring them back out to show you. And then in here, this should be my one pan. Yes, <laughs> my one pan of Roman Schmal watercolor that I was waiting on. And let's see, so here's some brushes. And there'll be no plastic in here. There's not gonna be any styrofoam. I really, really appreciate that they pack their deliveries in all of this recyclable material because it's nice to be a little more earth friendly. Okay, I'm gonna open that separately because I'm not sure what that is. And then I think this might be something else from Schminka, if I remember correctly now. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna, I think that's everything. I'm just checking to make sure. Yes, okay. But yeah, and even this box itself was part of a box, so it's not even a full box so that they could use all of their materials. All right, so bring these back out. So, okay, so this is that one Roman Schmal pan in titanium buff, although they're calling it buff titanium. And this is the one color I was waiting for. Supposedly this is very similar to Daniel Smith's Buff Titanium. So um, I am going to go ahead and put that in my Roman Schmal palette and then I'm going to do a separate video going through that palette and uh, doing some swatches of it. So I'm gonna put that aside. I'm not gonna open that up today, but I just wanted to give you the context of why I ordered one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do these Schmincke ones last. So let's open the brushes. Supposedly even this plastic is recyclable. So it almost feels like cellophane. Okay, so I got a few paint brushes and this is kind of a unique one. It doesn't say, let's see, I, had, I did take out my receipt so that I could reference it. Let's see, so this is the one this is. So this is the Deerfoot brush. So it has this little, the shape that is sort of like a deer foot, if you can see the way it is angled. And so this is supposed to be really good for foliage and that sort of thing. And it's, it's definitely a specialty brush, but uh, the Silver Line by Jackson's is super inexpensive, and so I kind of wanted to try this one. I think this was maybe $5 for this one. And then let's see what else we have. So this is a 1 4th inch icon, and I think this is a combination of uh, sable hair and synthetic hair. Let's see if it says, yes, icon, sable synthetic mix. And so I got this one because I have a longer 1 4th inch um, square brush, but it, uh, it's not that great. It's from uh, Princeton, I think. And I wanted to try a different one, especially one that's a little shorter that I get a little bit more control out of. I've been doing some little swatch uh, sheets with making just one line of color with, with a brush this size. So I kind of wanted to try a different one for that. And then this one is just a round brush in a size eight, and it's the same kind. It's the Icon, which is sable and synthetic mixed. 
and I got an eight because it's kind of an all round good brush size. And surprisingly, I think when I purchased brushes, I decided, okay, I'm not gonna get anything standard at the beginning. I don't know why I did that. So now I'm, I'm actually lacking in standard sizes like size eight. Not for my travel brushes. I do have size eight travel brushes, but for my studio brushes, I don't really have too many size eights. I think I may, maybe have one, um, but no, I have two. <laughs> okay. And then, okay, so let's open this. Oh yes. So this is a little porcelain palette. So you can use this palette a few different ways. So you can uh, obviously put little bits of paint into this, these little wells here. You could, you could obviously turn that upside down and use that, but uh, this side is more the standard side. But this side you can also mix pretty decent washes because it, it uh, curves in a little bit, which is kind of nice. So I think the idea is you're supposed to put your colors in here and then use this as a mixing area, but um, I might use it all for mixing area. And then it fits together like that and can sit on your desktop. So porcelain is really, really good for mixing. I got that one because this was one that was recommended by Jane Blundell for just mostly for this mixing area because it is kind of nice to mix up a nice wash. All right, so let's get to these. I'm gonna wait on that for a second. I'm gonna, well, yeah, I'll open the smaller one first. So, whenever there is a Schmincke sale, I always buy, buy the sets that they have on sale because they are gonna be way, way, way less expensive than normal. So this was actually, I think, was it like $30? Let's see. So this is the six pan, it was $30, yeah. So you can buy the tin itself for $30 here in the United States. So um, yes, and I was making sure that those prices are listed in dollars and not pounds. So that was the dollar amount. And these have some pretty standard colors, although some of these, the, so this is a limited set, so it did have some kind of interesting color combinations. I already have a couple of these colors, I think. So it comes with, let's see what this is. It comes with, I have to take off my glasses. I'm getting old. Okay, so uh, there is chromium yellow hue deep. We have Saturn red, magenta, helio turquoise, ultramarine violet, and permanent green olive. I think I have magenta and helio turquoise I'm not sure if I have permanent green olive. I might, so I might actually have half of this set already. But um, like I was saying, I mean, you would pay $30 just for the tin itself here in the United States, and the little pans are pretty inex pretty expensive in themselves. So I went ahead and got this. And then it always comes with this little swatch sheet. Like that, okay. So that, at the very least, the pan is gonna get some use. So let's see, yep, okay, I can just pull this. I was hoping I didn't need scissors. And this is also a special edition. So this has nine pearl metallics and three pearl gold pearl metallics. I don't know what the difference is, but we'll see. So I believe there's 12 in here, yes. So, um, and these I definitely do not already have. And let me see how much was that one. That one was $50. So a little bit more expensive, but again, I mean, the when these are not on sale, well, when they're not on sale at Jackson's, they're still a reasonable price, but they're more than this. And, um, and in the United States, they're just crazy, crazy expensive. So let's see, what do we have here? We have a yellow light pearl move this up so you can see a little bit better. A yellow light pearl, a yellow pearl, red pearl, magenta pearl, blue pearl, cyan blue pearl, green pearl bluish, green pearl, black pearl, red gold, yellow gold, and ochre pearl. 
Okay, so I'll definitely need to do a swatching video of these, so that should be fun. And then again, there is the swatching sheet. So you can fill this up with a whole other row of watercolors in here. So that's gonna be lots of fun. All right, so that's it. I mean, that was plenty. That's plenty exciting enough. <laughs> Let's see how I get all those together. That and then this palette. All right. And I think, I think that might be the last Jackson's order I was waiting for. So um, I am still waiting. So they have one more special edition Schmincke set that I am waiting for them to come back in stock. And then I'm probably going to order that. Um, originally, so they have some special editions on pre-order only, but you can only pre-order them in the UK. But once they get into stock regularly, they... Um, you, you can buy them internationally. But the, I think when it was pre-order, I think it was $30 for a full set, like completely full. Um, and then it was it was sort of a rectangular, or, or maybe more a square-like tin, and it was really the tin I wanted. <laughs> and um, it was $30 when it was on pre-order, and now I think it's actually gone up to 40. So, um, but still, I mean, I. And Jackson's is really nice. I really like supporting them. The only downside is that it might take a little longer to get your to get your order sometimes. But you know, I, I'm learning how to be more and more patient these days. So <laughs> it's not always my strong suit, I have to say. But but I am learning how to be more patient, and it's really nice to have surprises that you kind of forgot about. <laughs> and the money's already spent, so there you go. All right. Well, that's it for today. Feel free to like and or subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.